welcome back to the final episode of season six of the Lincoln Loco 2. It's the FA Trophy final against Newport County. How we've got here, I don't know. But we're here. We're playing Newport County at Wembley. It's, I, I can't believe it. So if you weren't here for the last episode, go back and watch it because it was an absolutely cracking episode. Then come back and watch this one because this one is going to be pretty mental as well, I think. So obviously not much to really update you on since you were last here because no games played in between episodes. But apparently 18,000 tickets have been sold for this FA Trophy final. Now, I reckon about 18,000 of them are for Newport County fans. About 400 of those tickets for our fans. I don't expect many of us to come, but we hopefully I'll be surprised. Newport, obviously, clear favourites. They finished 12th in the division above us. So we'll be playing them next season in the league, which is exciting. So hopefully a bit of a preview for that. So our first ever FA Trophy final in the club's 86-year history as well. So we, we're, we're making history just being there but we could make even more history by winning it. Our assistant manager reckons we've got a chance, and to be fair, I reckon we do as well. We had to beat a lot of good teams to get here. Don't know how we beat them, but we did beat them. Newport County, though, looks like they're taking it lying down. We've had a stroke of good luck in Fortune being paired against an inferior opponent. Gives us the opportunity to rotate our squad. Right. This is the cup final. You don't rotate. <laughs> I don't understand what he's on about. Uh, hopefully they do rotate their squad. And hopefully we beat them. But if they do that, like that is, that's just insulting. You wouldn't do that in real life at all. We're here on merit, not by chance. We're here on merit. We beat teams better than Newport. So oh, that just it makes me want to win it even more now. Also, National League North playoffs, Blythe versus Kings Lynn Town. That's going to be an interesting game. Uh, I fully back Blythe to win it. They have been one of the best sides all season up there. Very unfortunate not to win the league, really. We're, we were lucky, actually. Very lucky that they lost 3-0 to Chorley on the last day of the season and we managed to draw to win the title. That was that was lucky, I've got to say. And it's Blythe that do win it, 5-0 against Kingsland Town. So Blythe will join us next season in the Vanarama National League. Oh, we're also biggest overachievers in the FA Cup as well. We got to the second round, of course. This has been a mental season. Overachievers in the FA Cup, final of the FA Trophy, winning the league. Oh, I can't. This has been one of the best seasons I've ever played a football manager. One one of the best ever, hands down. And that's a lot of seasons I've played a football manager. Unfortunately, Mason not named player of the season. This chap was instead, which is just, I mean, that's a travesty, really. Uh, Mason wins top goal scorer, though, which is good to see. Um, I've been nominated for manager of the year, which is also very nice. Where am I there? 42 games played, 57% win ratio. I, I mean, to be fair, the Blythe manager's actually gone a bit better with his win ratio. But I'd better win it. Mark Mason's unhappy, though that uh, we haven't improved the club's coaching team. Apparently, I was meant to do that. Apparently. Uh, I'm sorry, Mark. God, I hope this isn't rude. He's a oh, my God. His, his morale's abysmal. I sincerely apologise. I intend to make it better. He's going to give me another chance. But if I want to remain at the club, make sure you make it happen. Okay. That's a bit of a downer going into the... If he could actually be cross after this game, that would be good because that's ruined his morale. If you could have been crossing me afterwards, that would be okay. But obviously this summer, I've got to get some better better coaching staff in, apparently. Right, here we go then. <laughs> FA Trophy final against Newport County. We're going for the 4-4-2, obviously. And it's a team that I think you should be fluent with now. Jed Andrews in goal. Dale, Wakeley, Sanderson and Cook is the back line. With Turiak, Howell, Hall and Griffiths in the midfield four. Mason and Turner starting up front. Agu not on the bench, unfortunately, because he's on international duty with the Nigeria under-20s. So he's missing arguably the biggest game in the club's history to go and play for the under-20s internationally. I mean, I can sort of see his point, but I mean, to be fair, he wasn't going to play. So, yeah, I can see why he wanted to go play for Nigeria. Either way, this is the lineup. This is the FA Trophy final. Leave your predictions now in the comment section. Let me know what you're thinking. Who's going to win? Are we going to win? Please say we're going to win, but let me know your score predictions either way. So, kickoff is upon us in the FA Trophy final. How did we get here? How? So, hopefully the press conference from the Newport manager was true. Hopefully he has rotated players and rested them because that gives us a much better chance of winning this thing. If I'm honest with you, I think that's how we got here in the first place. I think it's, we got here because other teams that we played against got complacent, rested players, we turned up playing quite well in form, beat them. We're very capable of scoring plenty of goals against teams from the league above us. Last episode, or the episode before rather, when we played Torquay, 
We scored seven goals against Torquay in both legs, which is mental. However, I don't think we're going to be scoring anywhere near that today, though, as we've reached the half-hour mark without a single highlight so far in the game. It's very cagey at the moment, I think, by the looks of things, which is a bit frustrating. I'd like to see a more exciting game than this. I mean, I, at the same time, I would be very, very happy if we just score one goal with the only highlight of the entire game, we will have the trophy because of that. that I mean, I'd, I'd be happy winning it because that'd be amazing. Winning it as well gets us £67,000 in prize money, which takes away maybe about a third of a debt that we're in. So not a huge amount, as we've got a highlight right before half time, as we've given the ball away to Newport as they come forward now. Henderson on the ball, unchallenged basically. I mean, he can do that all day if he wants to be fair. If that's the best chance that's happened all game so far, and that's the only highlight... This must be a really crap game for the spectators to watch. Right, I'm ex excited to see the attendance. It said 18,400, and I reckon about 400 of those will be Lincoln United fans. So we'll get the assistant manager to do the team talk. He's happy. It's nil nil at half time. We'll look at the attendance in a second. If we bring anything over a thousand, I think that's going to be good. Uh, and we brought two and a half thousand to be fair, which actually is pretty amazing. I didn't expect anything like that at all. Um, which makes me think, why do we not get two and a half thousand at home games? Why do we not get a half a thousand, four hundred? Why do we not get five hundred, four hundred at home games, let alone two and a half thousand away to Wembley? Like, I mean, I expect that now every game next season. I expect two and a half thousand fans at every home game next season. If this was real life, though, because there's no real rivalry between Lincoln United and Lincoln City because they're so far apart. And recently they've had a lot of, they've been working together recently, having a bit of a partnership. So, I think if this happened in real life, a good 10, 15,000 people would go to Wembley to watch Lincoln United if this happened from Lincoln. But Newport coming forward, looking dangerous, putting another shot over the bar. We've we've had more shots than them, to be fair, and more on target. They've had better possession, though. I think we just step it up to balance just for a little bit. I'm, I'm reluctant to make subs because if we have to go to extra time, I do want to be able to bring some fresh faces on towards the end of it if I have to go to penalties as well. I'm going to say push forward to the boys. Push forward out there for the final 10 minutes or so. <sighs> this is getting nervy now. Because Newport haven't really done... I mean, no one's done much. There's been two highlights in the whole game, Tom. So it's obviously both teams are sitting back more than anything, maybe. But I'm too scared to go on the attack because I know that their attack is going to be so much better than our defence if they get a chance when we're going attacking on the counter-attack. We've got four minutes out of time, which means, obviously, we're going to extra time, which is scary because that means penalties probably as well. I think I'm geared up for penalties, if I'm honest with you. We've played well, though, for 90 minutes to last this long against Newport County. We've won games in extra time before. Let the assistant manager do the team talk again. Everyone's fully happy with that. <sighs> okay, 30 minutes to decide who wins the FA Trophy or it's penalties, and I pff, I don't really want to go to penalties. Maybe we've got a chance very early on, though, because the highlight's not finished yet from this like opening highlight. Griffiths puts a cross into Mason. Why could he not do that? Why could he not do that within the first 90 minutes of the game, and yet within 40 seconds of extra time can just slot it in the back of a net like that? Mark Mason, with his 39th goal of the season... Puts us wonderful up in the FA Trophy final. We've got one hand on the trophy. Ideally, Mark Mason will grab another goal to get to 40 total this season. He could do still as Jed Andrew puts the ball up. Turner doesn't win it. And Newport County are coming forward with the ball. Fredley on the ball into Wilson. Henderson shoots. He's miles out. To be fair, they are playing players like 35. That's not a starting number. I think they are playing like a reserve team out there. We're going to go back to cautious as well. But we have reached half time in extra time at 1 0. And I, I think we'll make a few changes. Well, well, I say that because I don't know why we've still got Summerskill and Pollock on the bench when they're. I don't know why they've got such bad condition. If they, if they picked up injuries or not. What we will do, though, is we'll bring, we'll bring Spencer Keller on for Turiak just to keep him fit there. And I think we may bring Mick McCabe on for Hall because Hall will be tired out there as well. So we'll bring him on in that box-to-box, -box, although he probably doesn't like it too much. Let's start the second half. Things are looking well still. Nothing's happening. We've got five... That's gone quickly. Five minutes left. There's a highlight. Please. Oh, Okay, we've won the ball. Turner coming forward. Let's get the ball to Mark Mason McCabe. 
McCabe shoots wide. Should have we had two men open with no men around them. McCabe should have passed it to make sure we grabbed the goal. But the clock is ticking down. There's two minutes to go. We're about to win the FA Trophy, which should not be happening. This has been the most incredible season I've ever played a football manager. There's a minute left to go, and here come Newport County. Oh my God, no. no oh, for God's sake. Oh, you cannot make that up. You literally cannot make that up. Oh, that is... I didn't even think about bringing anyone else on for penalties as well. Mark Mason, Spencer Keller, Jermaine Turner, Sam Griffiths. I mean, no one's good at penalties, which is frustrating. Um, Dom Cook. I mean, let's just auto-pick it for the rest of it. Dom Cook third? What are you on about? No, let's not have Dom Cook third. We want Sam Griffiths before him. We want Jermaine Turner before him as well. The rest of it, I don't really care. Oh... 90, 91st, it was 121st minute, wasn't it? They equalised. They've uh, they've missed their first penalty, though. Henderson's penalty saved by Jed Andrews. There's still chance. Because I don't really rate his in penalties because no one's very good at taking them. But Mason puts us 1-0 up in the penalty shootout. If Butler misses his as well, that would be great. Then number three, he must be their right back taking this penalty. So surely he can't be very good. He does pull it top bins, though. But... They missed their first penalty still. So we still hold the advantage as long as we don't miss a penalty. As Keller steps up. <sighs> Lad, come on. Don't go down the middle. No one goes down the middle. It's the worst thing to do. Then number 14 steps up. Jed Andrews with another save. Oh, Jed Andrews could be the saviour here. Of course, he's only on loan. So we <sighs> there might not be a chance we'll see him next season. Griffiths puts it in the back of a net. We're 2-1 up. In the penalty shootout after three penalties each. Please save this Jed Andrews or miss it. One of the two. He's, oh, I should have saved that. It was right at him. Back to two all, but we still hold the advantage. Turner. Turner. Please. Come on, lad. Scores it. Okay. Now, if Newport miss this, we win. If Newport miss this, oh, we have to watch the, the walk up as well because. Of course, it's dramatic. Just get there. End it. My heart's actually going. It's a bit embarrassing. My heart's going a bit, to be fair. Oh, Jed Andrews has to save it. Or they have to miss it. Or if they score, we have to score our next one. Beach to take it. Jed, Jed Andrews has won the FA Trophy. Oh, what? This is the greatest day. I've recorded the last episode in this episode today. This is the best day of playing football manager I've ever had. We've won it on penalties because Jed Andrews has just been an absolute saviour and shown an absolute masterclass of how to save penalties. We've not only won the league and got promoted, we've won the FA Trophy as well. Ah, oh, we have no right to win that at all. And yet we've gone and done it. We've gone and done it. We've also got an achievement called Attack. What's that for? What does that achievement do? I don't think you can see what I'm looking at right now. I can't even get it up. Come on. Uh, your team scored a goal in 20 consecutive competitive games. That's been pretty impressive, to be fair. Mason, I mean, I couldn't believe that when that goal went in, when they equalised like that. But we've won it on penalties. We lift the FA Trophy. We've received £67,000. I wonder if we get money ticket money, because if we get ticket money as well, that could take us out of debt. How much money have we got? Not to be fair, we were at least a hundred and. £160,000 in debt. So that's taken a massive chunk of it away, which is beautiful. Uh, gate receipts this month, £127,000. So a lot of it will have come from Wembley. In fact, all of it will have come from Wembley because that's the only game we've played technically at home this season. So that's £127,000 from Wembley. Beautiful stuff. Plus that 60000 which is... So that's nearly nearly 200k basically so we must have been over 200k in debt to be only be 20,000 pounds so it must have been 220 in debt which is phew, scary we've won the double I can't, I can't believe that we've won the double celebrating a double Kelsey brings glory to Lincoln United of course I do fantastic stuff the board is delighted as they should be um Ely is looking at Sam Griffiths because they want to sign him he's not getting anywhere Sam Griffiths is staying with us squad have been paid five grand 
and we've won the FA Trophy as biggest overachievers. It's what a season. What <laughs> what a bloody season this has been. Also, the 14 goals we scored in the season in the FA Trophy is a record, apparently. The record was previously held by Torquay with 13. So even more records that were breaking. Like, I, I, I just cannot, cannot tell you how fantastic this season has been. How mental this has been. I love it. So obviously Mason inducted into the uh, overall best 11 of all players that ever played. And so is Jed Andrews, to be fair, alongside some decent players. So fair play to them. They've obviously had a very good season to be inducted after their first season at the club. Um, end of season awards. Joe Howell, of course, not just your favourite player, but the club and the actual fans and the game's favourite player. Uh, more than Mark Mason as well, which is mental. All of Lincoln United's dreams came true this season. They, they did. I, I don't think we can have a better season than that ever. Like, I don't know how we top that because that was so good this season. To, uh, to finish things off then, we'll do the end of season team meeting. We've been promoted. Now, let's not get ahead of ourselves. The players will think we're going to go straight back down, I think. So, I'm going to say, go for a well-deserved break. You've done brilliantly to get us promoted. So, I'm going to give you a chance to keep us up there as well. Or do I go with some new faces? We can stay up. I'm going to go with new faces. Let's stay up. Uh, oh, no one's, no one's reacted that. Do you really think we're capable of surviving? I'm dubious. I can't be the only one, says Jack Walkley. Nathan Dale's the only person that thinks we can stay up. Okay, I'm, let's work as hard as possible to avoid the drop. Everyone's kind of happy with that. I respect. I'm happy that you've all agreed with me. It's not affected morale at all, which is good. Hopefully, everyone will come back with full morale like that as well. Uh, so, I mean... We're going to be in for a tough season next year. Very, very tough season next season. But I reckon we've got it to avoid the drop and finish relatively low mid-table. Something like that, maybe. Obviously, I don't think we should be going... We've got no right to be going for promotion again. So let's not think about that. Let's think about survival, first and foremost. So join me on Thursday when we start next season. <sighs> What? I'm speechless. What a season it's been. So thank you ever so much for watching this season of the Lincoln Loco. If you've enjoyed it, please do drop a like on the video for me and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And I'll see you next time for some more Lincoln Loco action.